So I learned something about the pacifist run the hard way. You know how in the Soroba fight it gave us the option to fight or spare her? Well, I wanted to go back and fight her to see what the ending would be. And it turns out when you beat the game, you only have the option to close the game or reset. So what I had to do was alter the save file to give myself 9,999 HP and power through the game so that I could get to that point. Okay, I think we've seen enough. Let's get back to Soroba. You won this battle. Do what needs to be done. So what if we did this? Thank you. Chujin. Sorry to keep you waiting, but I'm here now. Where's Soroba? Clover? Clover, where did you go? I'm sorry. Sorry. No. You didn't. You couldn't. She just ran away. She ran to the lab, right? Ugh. Where am I? Clover! Are you... I am so sorry. You should have been here to help. Help? No one wanted it to end this way, but... But what? What the hell did Soroba do to deserve this? I didn't say she deserved anything, but come on! Look what she did to us, and more importantly, what she was planning to do to Cover and Kaneko. She was clearly- She was lost! In her mind, there was no other choice. All anyone ever sees is what they want to see. I never stop to consider the why. Maybe to you, she was only some violent threat, but beneath the crisis, I saw her for who she truly was. A compassionate, hard-working mother who lost everything. Her hopes. Her dreams. I knew her. I knew her more than anyone. She could have been talked down. Forgiven, even. She wasn't even given the chance. tried for a long time. We wanted peace. You saw it. Even when things escalated, we attempted to flee. But she wanted us dead. Going as far to back Clover into a corner, forcing them to... You're a lawman, right? I'm sorry, but under these circumstances, Clover was just... I don't know what just means anymore. What's right, what's wrong. Who cares? All I know is that I... I lost my best friend tonight. And the wind... It blew the dust away. I just didn't even matter. To the law, maybe you were justified in what you've done. But to me, you're lower than dirt. All right, man. Uh, I could report your location or try to get revenge. But I know that would only spell more trouble for me. All I can do is ask myself why. Why did I hesitate to fire that last bullet? I'm sorry you had to go through all this. Maybe we took a different route in Waterfall, made different choices, 
and have been put in this situation. This spiraled way out of control, but there's no changing it now. All thing left to do is get you home. You deserve it. Let's go to the castle. Are, are we... Are we actually progressing? Is, is Starl gonna... Do... Huh. Apparently, the game continues on once you defeat Saroba that way. Uh, so let's see what awaits us here. Is this an elevator? We'll progress the story? God, how, how do you feel being on the elevator with someone who took a life? I wouldn't want to mess with me either. Okay. Oh, I recognize this location. Yeah, we're in, we're in Asgore territory right here. Actually, oh, mm, we're in dangerous territory. Let's just walk carefully. Don't run. Safe for now. Um, wrong room. Can we go over here? I want to go over here. Is this, this going to be what I think it is? Yeah. Can, can you talk? Maybe we shouldn't be in this room. I wouldn't want to be in here either. For once, I'm at a loss for words. You're not going to tell me that children like me should be at home with dinner? Wait. Before we enter, I just want to say thanks for today. For putting up with me. I guess, in the big picture of my life, you're gonna be a blip. But oftentimes, those blips make the biggest impact, you know? Oh, what am I saying? I'll see you again once Monster Kind is free, remember? Wherever you are when that time comes, I will search you out, guaranteed. Well, I guess it's time. Just follow my lead. So, um, hmm. Dum -dum. um, excuse me, King? Oh, a visitor at this hour? Uh, hello, Mr. King, sir. Uh, it, it is an honor to be. No need to be so formal. You can just call me Asgore if you like. Right! Hascor, King, Sir, I am Martlet of the Royal Guard Snow Division. Ah oh, yes, one of our courageous guards. Thank you for your service to the Underground. What brings you to the castle so late? It's not really late, judging from the lighting. Well... This human brings me to the castle. Oh. Their name is Clover. Clover. What a lovely name. I apologize for the lack of notice. I know this may be a shock, but... Were you, by chance, not given a royal god handbook? A handbook? Sure, I was given a handbook. Not sure I'm following. Ah. Uh. So you are familiar with the protocol. Yes, there you are. I know how it looks, but you see, Clover is not a bad person. In fact, they are one of the kindest souls around. So many have attacked them with ill intent, but Clover is peaceful. As much as one can be in such situations. What I'm trying to say is, Clover believes in what's best for others, even monsters. And they need to go home, back to the surface. Back to the surface. Hmm. Oh, 
if such a thing were so easy. But you of all monsters must know the reality. Clover is different. This is different. No. Regrettably. The one thing these encounters never are is different. Not in the end. What are you saying? You aren't going to kill Clover, are you? That's the resort of our battle. You must be. No! You can't do that! Clover! Plead your case! Come on! What are you doing? Say something! You should go. Clover, you're... you can't. But human has spoken. I'm sorry. No, this isn't how this... Let's go back. Back to Snowden. You can live with me. Like nothing ever happened. Kidding. Oh. Say, um, oh. You are a decisive one. Then you know what we must do. Please, follow me into the next room. Huh. Why do I get the feeling something's about to happen? It's like you said later. It's like visit to the dentist. Uh, you didn't say that to me, but yeah. Okay. Through this door. Yeah. Visual. Visual. I'm gonna die. This is the burial room. This is what keeps us trapped underground. I feel it's important to show you something. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. How tense. The feeling you are experiencing at this moment. The world can be a cruel place. It takes and gives as it chooses, but I suppose that took long enough. I will make this quick. No need to worry. Don't see HP. Am I supposed to? Is this supposed to be a, a, a thing where I actually do die? I don't. I mean, I feel like I've been through worse at this point. Am I supposed to? Um. I feel like... Oh! Oh shit! What's happening? Whoa. <gasps> I, I figured that was gonna happen. I see. We're swearing the young one. I'm sorry.
Undertale Yellow. Ooh. That's a little more ominous. I was not really sure what to expect for this this particular route. This is called the uh, the flawed or failed pacifist route, I guess. Uh, where, where you decide to, to, to defeat Sorova instead of sparing her. Um, I, I was actually about to be like, are we going to do one more boss battle? But apparently not. So that's that's fair. Uh, Sorova seemed like the, uh, the final boss anyway. But just, it's, it's very well done. It's, it's got some great animation, great designs, great writing, great music. It's it manages to be a successful like prequel. Huh. Can't say I didn't see that coming. Still, my hopes were high. There's gotta be some way to get what I need. Clover's competent enough, but still. Nothing ever works out when it comes to them. Mm. I could reset and try my luck again, or I could accept what I've been given and wait. The king is only one soul away now. Might be a good idea to pick you back off the next demon instead. But who knows how long that will take, and even worse, if the next human would be skilled enough to do what Clover could. need some time to think it over. This isn't the end. Next up is the neutral route. In order to get this route, you have to kill at least one monster. I don't think it's worth doing several videos on this path because it's basically the same story for the most part. But I am going to show you some highlights from the playthrough, just to demonstrate how some of the dialogue changes when you uh, aren't the most perfect pacifist. Also, I'm going to show all the bosses that I actually killed off, because uh, that's kind of important later on. Anyway, let's take a look. Ooh. Oh. I guess we earned some silence. Oh, here we are. Thank you. For everything. You really helped me out. Because of this, I'm going to be more friendly. I'm going to be the mentor I always should be. And Mila and I will draw together. Volgrim will could spice up my wardrobe. And Crispy Scroll can show me that anime thing. I thought of leaving, but why leave when I have a great family right here? Plus, I've really let the place go. A week of non-stop cleaning is in order. Well, I should get you out of here. Oh. I've seen the exit is blocked off. Let's see. There we go. You're all set. Oh. Before I forget, I never asked for your name. Find them for me, Lee. Clover? What a nice name. Well, Clover, you should get going. Goodbye, friend. Interesting. I guess that's what happens if you're you're not a full pacifist. Like, instead of deciding to leave, he just wants to stick around. I guess for the better, because he's got some people to tend to, who, who I've... Uh, Damage. I've noticed all of the ones he mentioned. Or actually, it was just... Yeah, all three of the ones he mentioned are ones that I spared after shooting them. So I guess he's got some work cut out for him to take care of. Okay. So let's see what happens with the coffee beans. Oh. Good! Now the protocol, too. Attack back. It's time to show you the true strength of a royal guard. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, wait, I'm really confused. First of all, ow! Why? Why do you keep hitting me? I mean, yes, I am attacking you, but ow! At least be consistent, please! Like, if you attack me a bunch, then it's your turn again? Well, then I expect you to attack and I can ready myself, you know? But when you keep going back and forth like this, you're giving me whiplash! Plus, I don't know how to feel right now. You attack me, so I should have no qualms with apprehending you. But then you stopped attacking me, so I thought, hey, maybe you overreacted, Martha. Being a human isn't such a serious crime. Maybe you should let the kid off with a warning this time. If you catch them being human again, that's when you arrest them. But then you hit me again, and now everything is all muddled. And now all I know is, ow, it hurt. Wait, wait, before you hit me again, or don't hit me again. Actually, what are you trying to do here? Never mind that. Answers to serious questions are above my pay grade. The other guard said no interrogating or getting emotionally invested. And I think I know what that means. Maybe. Either way, you seem like a good kid. Well, some of the time at least. And some of the time is good enough for me. Oh, I have a great idea. What if I help you get through Snowden before you become an adorable popsicle? And along the way, I can teach you to be a better citizen in the underground. It'll be fun. It happens in movies all the time. A grumpy little human enters, and then two or three montages later. Ta-da! Okay, I'll be right back. I need to go figure out how to trigger a montage. Okay, the first time I did this, I saved uh, the others because uh, of reasons. But let's let's save that. Let's see what the dialogue choice for this one is. Alright. Ouch! You owe me for this! Over. I thought we were friends. Ugh. I'm okay. Ha! Clover likes me more! Now, now. This decision was a tough one. Having a casualty, having a casualty beat by your hands is a lot to handle, mentally. There's a lot more to it than that, Scar. This is a deep scenario that requires a lot of thinking. We don't have time for thinking. This is a test of judgment in Clover Past. Past? How exactly? Ah, quit being so technical about everything, Mori. Well, if they did, that's, uh, pretty good. I can't tell if that was an insult or not. Anywho, I'll see you yours in the spot, kid. Gonna be when you're ready for your final mission. Coming. Oh, no, well, my safety goggles. <laughs> I, I can't lie. I'm not ready. Let my parents know. I'll be away for a while. See you around, kid. Oh. Oh, that was a Toriel moment because his HP was nowhere near that much. Hey, Cl Clover! Have you seen Starlow? No? Don't think so. I haven't seen him anywhere since the breakup. He's the most upset he's been in quite some time. I'm worried. I'll speak to his family up ahead. He may know something. See you later. Yeah. Clover! Clover! Is that Saroba? I wonder where she's off to in such a hurry. Oh yeah! Hi! <laughs> so I have good news and bad news. I'll start with the good. Saroba, an old acquaintance of mine, freed me. I can see that you two have met already. 
Uh, she knows I won't tell Asgore about this, so no worries. Now that that's been taken care of, the bad news. I'm about to go back on my word, sadly. I know I just said I wouldn't leave her side, but then, you know, this crazy detour happened. I also realized I threw my job to the wind to travel with you, but since the imprisonment took up so much time, I have to go back. If I don't at least clock in, the Royal Guard will grow suspicious. Plus, Ava's total. It was their property. I'll only be gone for a moment to fix my mistakes. Trust me, this will help me in the long run. And I know you're tough enough to handle yourself. I'll send you a message where we can meet up again, alright? Again, I'm so, 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 so sorry about this. But I'll see you later. Yeah, I'm, I'm still a little bit rattled about um, Starla there. I wonder... We're committing. Howdy! You're becoming a pro at this, buddy. At this rate, you'll be able to confront Asgore himself. Here's hoping. Uh, yeah. So you can't find Starlo anywhere? Hey, you not him at all. I was hoping he was here hiding in his room or something. Now, I have no idea. Maybe he ran away. His empire did cr crumble beneath him just now. Where, though? Half he took only leads to Steamworks Gate. You think he jumped the fence? There's no way. You can't do that. There's nothing out there. Was he ever one to stick to the rules, though? He might have. It's okay. Stay calm. We, we haven't exhausted our options yet. I'm sure he'll return soon. Too much of a softy at heart. I hope you'll ride. Yeah. Good luck with that. Actually, can we, uh... I'm curious. Hey, Clover. Sorry we kind of ruined your fun. Really wasn't your fault. You were just strung along. Anyway. I feel bad about the whole thing. Need to talk to Star about it as soon as possible. Yeah. yeah you do that, Mooch. Golly, ain't this dandy. Everyone you met just abandoned you for their own interests. And those aren't real friends. No way. I'm here for you, though. Always will be. Now, let's get out of here. I'm not too sure how to open this door. Hold on. That'll work. That's one way of opening it. We can finally leave this wasteland behind. See you later, Clover. Yeah. Huh. So Soroba's not going to be here with us now. Howdy again. Golly, this area sure is grim. Doesn't look like anyone's been around for years. This machine looks mighty important, though. Stick around and see what you can find. Talk to you soon. Rusty power generator. I'm not sure if it still works. So it's truly just you and me in this place, huh? We've been anti-climax after everything we've been through. I'm thankful that the dunes were draining. Yeah, I guess it is just us. Access funnel 14, ready to guard and protect. Intruder spotted, Steamworks Eastern Branch. Your crimes are as follows. Trespassing on private property. Utilizing machinery without permission. Human. How do you plead? To these accusations. I would say you got me at pretty accurate. Really? That was easy. Your crimes will be reported to an authority. Oh wait, that is me. Enjoy your isolation, you bet. Ooh. 
Thanks, bud. Howdy. Glad I was able to catch you in time. What is this, the third temple you survived on your journey? For having the name Clover, you sure aren't lucky. I'm only kidding around, of course. I'd say you're more of a machine than a bot up there, huh? Gosh. I hope we had straight shot to an exit, but of course not. If you meet that hunk of metal again, try not to get caught. Or, you know, killed. Although dying would save more time now that I think about it. I can just revive you on the spot. No amount of gruesome deaths could stop old Clover. Ain't that neato? Yeah. Yeah, um... Just some useless scrap. Ah, I see, so... With that Soroba, we don't even get the, the option to do the, the whole build a robot. Wait. I cannot believe you fell for that. I am smart, therefore I predicted your escape. Now, back you go. Yeah, I was about to say, was this locked in the pacifist run? Something like that? It has a few loose screws. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah, how are we going to get out of this? You are, con you are cornered, human. I do not want to hurt you, but you force my glove. Prepare for pain. Whoa. Oh. This is a problem. Looks like you win this time. I will return to capture you soon. Do not go anywhere, please. See you later. Thanks, Flowey. Howdy. I know I usually let you handle imminent threats, but, uh, you really looked corner back there. My friendly Miss Pellet sure came in handy in tight spots. Anyway, you must be totally out of breath after that. You should take it easy for a while, pal. Grab a snack, hydrate, won't bother me. Need to be in tip-top shape for what's coming. Yeah, what is coming? Is uh, Soroba's not here. Gardener model 2, status damaged. Oh, hello there. Was it you who disturbed the flora? I ask you to please have more respect, but do not worry. Seeing that you are so young, it is forgivable. I will report the incident as level 3, level 10 offense. Level 10 means the termination of the Trampler. Farewell. Oh! Fuzz's critical memory error. Trample flowers. I cannot recall what has transpired in my botanical conduct. If my botanical conduct was unsatisfactory, no, I will not make excuses. I must deserve this. System failing, seeking repairs immediately. I suppose you feel differently, but to me, the garden, it is beautiful. You won. We just, uh, just gonna leave this here. Okay. What you guys say? Howdy, Kali. That bot sure was a handful. Not to mention a total rip off. Flowers and vines are my shit. Well, I suppose it goes to show. The mechanical limitations can't beat the real deal. I will say that thing honestly felt more threatening than the Axis. I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but just for consideration, why don't you, you know, deal with access next time we meet? I'm sure it would be easy, just a thought. Is this something? <gasps> it is something! The freaking Howdy! It sure is a pickle. I'm not certain my pellets would do any good on the store. Maybe there's a key somewhere. Be creative, pal. Receptionist is undeceptive. 
seem to be in the middle of creating a new scheme or something. Finish their work. What? Yo. Okay, I'd say Gun Hat is uh, ready for work. Hey, that's a real piece of art you made there. Give it a go. Hell yeah. Would you look at that? Worked like a charm. I might have to personally commission you someday. <laughs> Okay, so I wondered if this was a door that we could go through at any point. I guess this is how. Who knew the Steamworks were so dense? Like, where are we now? I see test tubes, microscopes, how much reminds me of, uh, huh. I don't know, science is my forte. The, the, the door, the door, 427. Employee 427. Okay. Whoa, hello. You would like some. You would like some cake, but you would rather not alert access. Risk it. Whew. Oh, it's one of. Okay, I get it now. The one of those plastic containers that's really loud. Yeah, I get it. A few sticky notes. Will someone tell Dr. Fish to stop using the lab to create a colored sign? I don't care if it makes funny noises, it does not count as work. Oh! Oh! Seussborg is ready to put your culinary skills to the test. I saw you in the credits for Pacifist, and I wasn't sure where you came from. Um... You have what it takes to be among the greats? Tell me, how does one cook this burrito spheroid? Spheroid. Crack. You tell Seussborg to take the egg and crack it over a pan. Ah uh, yes, just a light tap on the edge. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh. What is the next step? Hmm? Does the chefs know the secret to perfect it? Perfectio. Uh, fry. You tell Susbol to fry the to, to heat the stove until the egg begins to sizzle. We turn up the heat. Yeah, that's what I expected. Looks like bacon. Oh, no, now it doesn't look like bacon. Wait. Look, she got some spaghetti without water. Almost there. The federal stippies. Season. You tell Seuss Boy to grab some pepper and sprinkle it over the egg. Of course. I must sow the seeds of flavor. Oh. 
that's a little too much. So you know the art of the egg. What about the taste? Bon appetit. Incredible. Simply delicious. Pop of exclusive shit. Alright. That is me. Aha! But you, I am destructive. You are one great talent. Thank you for guiding my sweatshirt. You know what? We never encountered that one, so he gets a spare. It's one of those things, you know? Is that anything? No. 